my dear friends in Christ Jesus we reflect upon today's first reading taken from the Acts of the Apostles it's a uh, <clears throat> presentation of the charismatic preaching of Peter Peter tells how Jesus was present in the human form in earthly earthly Jesus if he ask this question we may answer that Jesus was present like a human being he has performed miracles healed many sickly but peter says of course jesus has done so many good things but most importantly what was special in the earthly jesus was that god was present in him God was present in Christ in a mysterious way. The Almighty God sent Jesus, His Son, to save us from sins. But then the human beings sentenced Him to death. And it is a mystery how the human beings could kill the son of god it's a mystery but again god worked in jesus in a mysterious way that god raised him from the dead again so that jesus would continue to stay with us eternally that's how the resurrected lord is present eternally in god second reading again through which saint peter affirms the presence of the resurrected lord with us peter affirms it saying there are various types of false god in the world that attract us and that lead us to destruction corruption experience of death doom and frustration if you reflect upon our own life the ways that we focus the things that we look at uh, all lead us to destruction sometimes frustration and peacelessness but peter tells it is only the resurrected lord who can lead us to life who can lead us to god it's only when we look at the resurrected lord that we will be able to lead our life with a new perspective coming to the gospel we have the a mouse experience uh, the emmaus to which the disciples uh, were traveling in a distressed mood frustrated why they were frustrated because jesus whom they expected to be the leader of israel political leader of israel was sentenced to death so they became frustrated and then as they were traveling jesus uh, walked along with them as a stranger without any any information uh, they jesus uh, as a court traveler uh, joined them in our day to day life we meet strangers we meet co-travelers if we if we travel in a bus 
may be the one who is uh, riding, one who is sitting aside as a court traveler, might be the one in whom we can see the presence of Jesus. And then, Jesus asked them uh, the question as they were distressed and frustrated. Jesus asked them, what are you talking about? We also uh, discuss with people, dialogue with people. Sometimes when people start dialoguing with us, we dismiss them. Don't mis dismiss people who desire to talk to us because it is in those people who desire to dialogue with us that we can, that we might uh, see Jesus. And Jesus asked them, what are you talking about? We also uh, have problems. But we may not understand the real cause of the problem that dismay us. In order to understand the real cause or the root cause of the problems or issues, we need to ask the question, just like Jesus asked, what are you talking about? If we ask the question, what is the problem exactly that, that disappoint us, then we will be able to look at, at the problem not with our eyes but with our heart. If we look at the problem with our heart, we may come to know that it's very simple which can be easily solved. Sometimes the simple problems become very complex when we look at, at it just with our eyes. And then Jesus joined them in their meal. And it is in the meal that the disciples could recognize Christ. How they recognized Christ? Because before eating, Jesus took the bread, blessed it, broke it, and then distributed it. You know, this is a, a special, uh, special act of Jesus. Taking the bread, blessing the bread, breaking it, and then distributing it. This is a similar action that Jesus did on the Last Supper. So when they saw Jesus taking the bread, blessing it, and breaking it, and then give, distributing it to them, they recognized, oh, it is Christ. It is Jesus. Only Jesus can do this. It is his particular special kind of uh, action. Taking the bread, blessing it, breaking it, and then giving it. My dear friends, we can see Christ in breaking of the bread. We can see Christ in sharing the bread. Wherever there is sharing, there is Jesus. Wherever there is sharing of food, sharing of our resources, sharing of our love, our time, our talents, there is Christ. And then, as they recognized Christ, Jesus was vanished. And then with joy, with greater joy, the disciples went back to their place. Then they became the evangelizers. They became uh, witnesses to the resurrected Lord. Every Christian is called to be the presence of the resurrected Lord. It is in and through us that Jesus lives. Are we able to present Christ 
in our families, in our working place, are we able to become the channel of grace? Let's pray for one another that Christ may live through us.